Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to put a 3D animated Bitmoji into your Bitmoji classroom. Now, if you don't have a Bitmoji classroom yet, go ahead and watch my previous video to learn how you can make one for yourself. I'm going to be uploading videos for teachers and students on Class Notes, so be sure to subscribe to this channel to stay updated with these videos. Now let's get started. I've got a Bitmoji classroom here and I've designed this one to be a game room where students can go ahead and press on the links to access some educational games. The only thing missing now is our Bitmoji. We're going to be creating a 3D animated Bitmoji using an app called Snapchat on our phone. To show you my phone, I'm going to be broadcasting it onto Google Chrome. I've just started the broadcast. If you're interested on how I broadcast my phone onto Google Chrome, I use an app called Mirror Mac PC, which is on the top right corner there. I'll leave a link in the description box below as well. Let's go onto Snapchat and I'm going to be facing a white wall for this. Once we're into Snapchat, click the filter button, which is on the bottom, and it's a smiley face icon with a paintbrush. Then we can go to Explore, which is on the bottom right corner. We want to find some Bitmoji filters. So we're going to type Bitmoji. And there's a couple that you can use, for example, Hip Hop Dance. You can make it a little bit larger. And you can also turn it around as well. Another common one is look at this. The one that we're going to be using is sipping tea. So once we make it a good size, we're going to hit record and record quite a lot of this animation. We want to make it a little bit bigger because what happens when we make a transparent background is the edges tend to become a little bit blurry, but if we have it a little bit larger and then size it down, this helps with that. After we've got this animation, please press save on the bottom left, and this saves the animation onto your photos. Then you can go ahead and move your animation onto your computer, and you can do that by AirDrop or um, OneDrive. When you've got your animation on your computer, please go to unscreen.com, press upload clip. I've got this one from earlier on. And this site helps us to remove the background. So we're just left with the Bitmoji animation, which is what we want. Press download. And once you've downloaded that, you can go back to your Bitmoji classroom on Google Slides. Press insert, image, upload from computer, and I've got this one from earlier on. Open that up, and here we have it. It helps to size it a little bit down because you can see that the sides are a little bit blurry. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Class Notes. If you would like to download my Bitmoji Classroom, go to File, make a copy, and do the entire presentation or the selected slides. Another piece of exciting news is I've got a blog post out which is titled The Five Reasons Why Teachers Love the Bitmoji Classroom. Inside this post, I've got the founder of the Facebook group Bitmoji Craze for Educators, Dr. Leticia Kane, who's giving us a little bit of insight onto what's going on with this teacher phenomenon. That's all from me. Have a good day and stay safe.